In this video, I am going to show you how to pass the data between two functions in a MATLAB GUI. So let's get started. Type guide on MATLAB command window. It will open a fresh GUI here. And we will get this window here. So I want to demonstrate this uh, passing data between the two functions with the help of a calculator. In this calculator, we will have two number, number 1 and number 2 and we want to add these numbers and want to display the answer. So to provide the input for any number, we use edit text here, copy this text box and this will be our second number, take a push button, And upon pressing this push button, we should get the answer which will be the addition of these two numbers. So we want to display the answer. To display the answer, we use the same text box here. Okay, now we need to clear this uh, text here, here and here. And we, we need to provide a tag for all these three added box here. Let's give it a tag name, let's say num1. Clear this text here. Give it a tag name. Let's say num2, which is quite obvious in our case. Clear this text. Give it a tag answer. So now we have provided the tag. Let's save it first. Okay, it's already there. Let's try again. Okay, so whenever you save it, MATLAB will provide you the auto generated code. Now, all we need to do. We need to go to the callback functions here. You can directly uh, right click here and view the callback and you go, you will uh, redirect it to the function of this particular added box here. And in this added box, we have provided the name num1. So what we need to do, we will run this program here. We will provide a number here, one more number here. And upon pressing the uh, push button, the answer will get display here. But First, we need to pass this number from this num1 function to the function of this push button. Because upon pressing this push button, some action should happen. So, one thing is we need to pass this value. And uh, another thing, these values are, by default, these values are the property type of string. So, we need to convert this string into the numerical value. So let's get here. In the function of num1, first get the value. To get the value, we need to use get handles dot num1. Because the tag name is num1 and uh, the property type is string. Excuse me. Now we need to convert this num uh, string in number. So we need to use a command string to num. We can do these two steps in a single step. Just copy this here. Cut it. And paste it here. That's it done. Now we need to do this the same uh, drill for the another number which is number 2 here. Go to the callback of number 2. Here, just paste it. Give it a name B. And the tag name is num2. Now, one more thing we need to do. We need to pass this data. For passing the data between the function, there is a command called set app data, which is the short form of store application defined data. 
there is a format here you need to provide zero always in middle you need to provide the variable name let's say num underscore one is the variable name and the value of this variable should be equals to a and we are done here do the same thing for the num2 the value should be and the variable name should be num underscore 2 now we need to get this data we need to collect this data in the push button function so here is the push button function let's define another variable m and in this variable m i want to store the value of the value of uh, num1 and num2 so get app data 0 is by default and then variable name variable name is num underscore 1 num underscore 2 now we want to add these two numbers and it should provide this answer m plus n and i want to set this value the value of answer here to the added box this added box so what we need to do we need to convert this uh, numerical value in a string value first so we'll use number to string and the value is answer now all we need to do set the value of handles dot answer which is the tag name of this block here this the property type is a string and the value of this string is answer so let's run it yeah we are getting this value here along with this we are i am going to mention some other properties you can change the canvas color here just double double click anywhere you can change the canvas color okay let's see how it look like now yes a bit good you can add more functions here to make it more realistic you can change the name here more informative that's it done yeah we are getting there. so i hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos if you have any doubt or queries please do comment in the comment section my email id is in the description section you can mail me so thanks a lot again for watching the video this was satya from urban school Bye-bye.